God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save the Queen, da 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 send a victorious, happy and glorious, long to reign over us, God save the Queen. Just feels like what you've got to do at the beginning of a season, eh? I am the worst football manager ever and welcome to the Gosport Gamble. You have tuned into episode four of the Gosport Gamble and welcome. It is a new season. It is a new year. It is a new me and I'm pretty much managing a new side. For those of you who have joined me just for the first few episodes, you will have seen that I took charge of Gosport um, after being sacked from Gloucester, which is a sad, sad thing, but it happened in the, in the past now. It's in the past. I've moved on and uh, took charge of Gosport Borough. And here I am about to start my first full season in charge of them. Um, back end of last season, you would have seen that I played... Um, uh, I was playing pretty well basically and I was so close to the playoffs and I need to let you know that unfortunately I missed out on the playoffs by one measly point. I had the last game to play and I had um, I was basically I had a whole load of games that needed to go my way with about three clubs like Ebbsfleet, Haven at Waterlooville and Oxford City. Those three games they all needed to lose or draw or something like that and I just needed to win my, my last game. Played the game and then I drew one all. I was absolutely gutted. You don't even understand how gutted I was. So I ended up coming sixth place, one place out of the playoff zone, um, which is really sad. But at the same time, I was really happy because it was way above the expectations of the board. And so they're pretty happy with me. So since then, we sent the players off on holiday. I had a little break myself and we've come back ready, raring for our more action. Um, I thought I'll just share with you a little bit of the expectations, also share with you some of the signings, and then we're going to play game one of the season. Um, so, firstly, let's get to it. The transfer budget that the board have given me this season has been zero. I spent some money, and I'll show you in a bit. Um, and the wage budget is 5.32k, which unfortunately I'm over already. However, um, let me show you, I'll show you a little bit and I think I was going to all pay off in the end. The expectations for the league is they want me to finish in the top half. Now I think I can get a playoff place. So that's where I'm heading in my head and I've told the, board, the team that as well and they seem up for it. They seem quite happy with what I was suggesting so that's good. Um, in the FA Cup they want me to reach the first round. Um, Fair enough. And the FA Trophy, my minimum expectation is that we'll reach the second round of that. So, all in all, not so bad. Now, let me take you to the transfers that I have made over the last season. We will go to the transfer history and I'll show you. Here are all the players that are out. Now, the majority of them um, are freebies. So, Brett Pote, um, or Poate, if you remember. Unfortunately, he has gone on a free. He was on non-contract player anyway, and he's gone. Um, other player that did play for me was Lee Wart occasionally. So striker occasionally played for me, not very much. So I didn't really mind seeing him go. Dan Wooden as well, who in real life actually plays reasonably often for a Gosport. He's gone as well. Um, however, the most surprising and sort of oh my goodness moment was this fella here, Joe Wright, got snapped up by Aldershot. Um, he's a goalkeeper and actually a pretty good goalkeeper at that if you look at his stats here um, and he oh, he was a non-contracted player I didn't realize he then went and that meant I was then left with one like my proper goalkeeper um, somebody Ashdown I think um, and then I had my next my literally my only other goalkeeper was like a 15 16 year old in the youth squad so I was like ah so I've now as I'll show you in a bit um, have got some new uh, a new goalkeeper in as well so I'll start with him shall I Ryan Young is the fella um, 36 years old he's a he's an old old boy but he has look at that beard look at his beard Beardy Young. You know what? I'm going to change his nickname right now to Beardy Young. Beardy, Beardy Young. Because um, no, no, I won't. I'll call him Strong Beardy. Strong Beardy is what I'm going to call him. Um, so Strong Beardy. 
he is um, my goal uh, keep, my second goalkeeper. But actually, I didn't even realise this when I hired him. But he's also been employed as the under 18s goalkeeping coach, which can only be a good thing because when you look at his staff attributes, his goalkeeping coaching is four, um, mental is eleven, and his man management is seven, which I'm pretty pleased with. And adaptability is sixteen there, and determination is twelve. So I don't know how long I'm going to really keep this for, but um, keep this player, but. I hope I keep him at least to the end of the season if not try and get him for a couple of seasons um, so I'm really pleased with that now let's go back to some of the others Dan Ball I bought, got from Bath but 1k um, all round defender can play left middle or on the right He's, he does prefer the left I'm realising but he can play central or right as well so got him from Bath and actually he featured in a Bath based a bank to Bath City if you remember the previous um, save I did there um, also I bought this player here 3.5k um, I, I spent some money on him um, Jamal Lowe who was recommended to me on uh, comments on YouTube, on Twitter I think it was and uh, and I found it found him and not bad player dribbling 11 finishing 10 Got he's a fastish player as well his pace and acceleration are up there so he'll probably start for me I'm going to go for a 4-3-3 and he'll probably be one of my starting strikers which is good other players I've got Johnny Hurd this is a backup left back um, I'm realising I'm really struggling for left and right backs as well as midfielders so my he is my kind of second choice left back um, looks not a bad player Rob Geyer this older guy 35 Filipino guy um, right back um, again he will be my sort of backup um, right back there and then also I've got Charlie Collins another striker who has come in finishing his 10 first touch is 11 sorry 10 Irish guy 24 years old um, He's got good natural fitness. He's not that fast or anything like that, but he, he's got a good shot on him. He's scored two goals in pre-season, which I was pretty pleased with. And if you look at his stats, uh, if I go on to, um, his, uh, to the squad and look at the... Um, bring up his... Uh, oh, man, it's all a bit crazy. But if I go into the personalised view here and then show him on here, it's Charlie Connors. He's got two and a half stars with the potential to go to four stars. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, okay, um, and so that pretty much brings me to the end of the players that I've brought in. Now, where did I get some money from? Because I showed you all these free players that went out, but unfortunately, this is probably my biggest loss, is I lost this fella, George Barker, to Dagenham and Redbridge. Um, probably was my highest rated player in the team, and I sold him for 14.25k. On reflection, I could have got a lot more than that, because he's now worth 40, nearly £42,000. But, you know, I got a bit of money for him before he just because he wasn't wanting to sign a contract and I managed to get it, sell him before his contract ran out so at least I got a bit of money eh? Um, so anyway so that's goodbye to George Barker but that's okay um, part of my issue is midfielder which I'll, which, which I'll get onto in the next couple of videos I'm sure so that pretty much sums it up. Um, so let's get along to this first game of the season. Gosport versus Western Supermare. Um, my prediction for my club this year is that they have put me predicted ninth. Um, Western Supermare, my first team that I'm going to be playing, are lower down, I think, if I remember right. They are predicted to be 19th. So this is a good start. This should be a good, safe um, straightforward game to start off with um, and I need to change my tactics because I've been messing around with a few different ones and I will come back to you when the game is ready to start okay so we look at Western Super Mare and it looks like they're playing a standard 4-4-2 formation um, we go to our side and let you let me tell you what my plan for my predominant and my main tactic I'm going to be using um, this season. We're going for a 4-3-3. We're going to play reasonably narrow. We're not having wide players this season. I've actually got the pitch and I've amended the pitch dimensions, which is the first time I've ever done it, um, and made that narrow, and made it a narrow pitch particularly. So we're going to be using this tactic more than any other. We will. We have got a 4-1-2-3 DM narrow and a 4-4-2 in place, just in case things don't go so well, or if players start getting injured and all that. I say, or if they get injured when they get injured I'll have um, something else in store there ready um, but as you can see here we've got um, uh, we have a poacher James Jamie White is probably now my highest rated player um, um, attacker 
he got injured through a lot of preseason. That's why his match fitness is quite low at 63% there. But he's my, probably my highest rated player. We've got him in the centre of the attack here with um, Charlie Collins and Justin Bennett supporting him with um, Jamal Lowe and Joe Anyansar on the bench who can play strike. Jamal Lowe would come on as a striker. Joe Anyansar could play as a right winger if not a striker. And you've got Carl Spence on the left would come on and as a left midfielder if we need to go to 4-4-2. Dan Ball as the all-round defender who could play in any and we've got Strong Beardy as that second goalkeeper as well Nathan Ashmore is the name of my my main keeper I think he played pretty much every game that I've played so far with Gosport and he's been pretty solid so I'm pleased with that we've got Elliot Wheeler and Kelly Uga as my fullbacks on the right and the left very good players I'm really pleased with what they've done for me so far they're coming forward which is really nice and doing some nice crosses in we've got Christopher De Gracha back from um, Arsenal on loan he was on loan last season and I managed to get him again for another year which is so good valued at 11.75 18 years old Swede so um, not like vegetable don't be so immature um, and then uh, Green Reese Greenidge who also at uh, 19 years old but he's a good good defender as well um, in terms of my instructions I'm going slightly deeper looking for the overlap um, actually no I'm going to take overlap off no overlap um, it's closing down sometimes and we'll see how that goes we're going just standard formation to start with but as things go on I think what I might then do is, is begin to go into control if we're, if we're doing nicely and taking most of the possession and things like that so there we go it's as simple as this this is where the season starts this is where the gospel gamble begins and we are going to we are going to smash this season like there is no tomorrow it's 2016 this is the time where we destroy it here we've got Kristen Plummer is there where a key man um, who's a winger Ben Harding is my key player it says here according to this what we are going to do here is um, we are going to mark um, close down some players here Ash and Tristan Plummer we are going to mark up Tristan Plummer I'm going to type the mark but not um, Bradley Ash and then McNamee we're going to close him down and we're going to close down Grubb as well where's Grubb there he is um, they're wingers I had some advice um, from Brant's123 um, on Twitch and on the YouTube videos recently. He's been really helpful, uh, suggesting that actually I don't type mark players unless they're really, really key players. Now, I know that Tristan Plummer is a key player in this instance, so I'm going to mark him up. Um, team talk. Um, here are the favourites here, so we should just encourage the team to push on. Come on, lads. We're the favourites, so show me what you can do. They don't respond too much to that, but I'm going to just give them a bit of a boost for this first game of the season. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. This is going to be so good. This is going to be so... I just sense it. I sense this is my season. I just got a feeling about it, right? And what we haven't done is we need to turn the sounds on in the game. We need the crowd behind us in this one, right? So here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is this is it. This is what it's all about. Um... I hope you're as excited as I am. Um, meanwhile, White's on the ball. Here's Collins. This is straight away. Looks like we've got a highlight, which is exciting stuff. Perry Ryan, can he wheeler get onto that? Oh, cleared out by Llewellyn. Not Llewellyn Bowen. That would be a bit, a bit odd, really. Um, where is my uh, body language? I want the Gosport body. Oh, it's there. It was hidden from me, but it's there. Here's Bennett. Justin Bennett on the left wing. There. Can he get a cross in? Oh, Purnell had to save that. This is a great start from Gospel. It's a co corner from Ben Harding. Cross puts it into the box. Nobody onto it. Andy Robinson, new captain, by the way. Um, Andy Robinson, here's Ben Harding, edge of the box. Across to Robinson. What will he do with it? Pass it through to White. Can he get onto it? Oh, unlucky, boys. Unlucky. So, yes, I have a new captain in Andy Robinson. Um, a uh, previous defender called Sam Pierce was the captain and for the second time in two seasons I've gone to a, a team and I've changed their captain now as other people have said it can often be a dangerous thing changing the captain but I chatted with Sam Pierce and I said listen I think I'm going to give somebody else an opportunity and he was a bit sad about it but he said no I respect your opinion so I think I might have got away with it again in that the squad haven't said anything pe nobody seems to be upset about it so that's good news um, I'm happy about that okay 17 minutes into this match and uh, 
apart from that first five minutes not much has happened so far it still says we haven't actually had any shots on target here one of the new things i'm really enjoying well i say it's new it's new to me because i've only recently noticed but on the match stats you can see the average rating of the players which is quite good kelly yugar throws it into captain andy robinson wheeler elliot wheeler into ryan cross to ben harding again back to ryan over to Kelly Hugo. Great through ball to Bennett. Yes! 1 0! 25 minutes in. He smashed it. Absolutely smashed it in. Come on, boy. 25 minutes in. This is this is what we wanted. This is such a good start. One shot, one on target, one goal. There's the ball from Ryan. Great ball. Great through ball from Kelly Hugo then. I thought Bennett would have crossed that, but he decided to smash it and it just went into the roof of the net. Beautiful. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Be- beautiful beautiful stuff oh this is great this is what i want this is what this is how I, this is what i like this is this is good stuff however if you do remember back to the first see first game of the season as gloucester manager um i was four nil up and in the second half i think it was against fc united if i'm quite quite thinking rightly they got one goal then two goals then three goals i thought i was going to lose a four nil lead and it was the worst thing ever but oh my goodness L- looks like my keeper's injured have we got baldy have we got baldy so we've got str- i mean not str- strong beard we got st- not baldy we've got strong beardy strong beardy's here oh dear he's got a strange neck this isn't good eh maybe i should just change it now oh i should i should i'm going to change it now 72 percent. you can't have a, an injured goalkeeper strong beardy you're gonna have to do it for me mate oh dear i bet i don't let in a goal now here's grub on the right all the space in the world grub had then but they closed him down which is good i asked him to do that here's pen across to colmer colmer forward to grub close him down good pen back to edge across to the left now to mcnamee switches it to the right grub now again all the space in the world as number five has left him stranded pen to edge to ash this is great build up play for them oh plumber <laughs> wastes the opportunity in your face plumber in your face strong beard he's on the pitch now the the, the power of the beard will stop any any ball for it'll be like a force field i hope um with that wonderful beard he's got wasn't the first half we've seen just tell him there's room for improvement in the second half this is good though this is good we're winning one nil come on uh yes come on let's go um midfielders come on give them a bit of you've got what it takes you've got what it takes defense you've got what it takes i feel like though doing that feels like going up defenders you've got what it takes midfielders you've got what it takes strikers you've got what it takes that would look so weird in real life but anyway here they are on the attack uh straight from the book mcnamee for western supermare they're going to come at us solidly um in this second half i have this sense this feeling about it jamie white is not having a good game this first game of the season strong beardy hasn't touched the ball yet it seems his rating zero western supermare have had three shots um 47 percent. so we've got more of the ball um we're still in standard uh which is interesting um and let's just watching this um possession here and it looks like we've now got a little bit more of the ball coming which is good um just a little bit worried though just a, yeah, a little bit anxious feel right now we're going to take off jamie white and we're going to bring on jamal low um let's see how that goes jamal low can yeah okay yeah let's try that um just because jamie smith didn't seem to be having too much of a game not just not up to much particularly we've still got the possession ultimately at the moment which is good um and ultimately on average we are playing a little bit better than them perry ryan is not having a good game 6.1 but as i said if you remember from previously i don't have another midfielder it's carl spence who is a really is a wide player but i'm wondering i'm just gonna have to bring him on i think because perry young is just isn't up to much he's not up to much at all 
that might have been a bad move, you know, with Carl Spence not really being a central midfielder like that. And they are on the attack. No, they're not. We are. Oh man, this is this is an even game. This looks like a really, really even game. Captain Robinson is doing well. Seven point three, eight point three from Justin Bennett here. Where is this going? Strong Beardy, big clearance from Strong Beardy, but it's straight to the opposition. McNamee on the attack. Seventy-eight minutes wide to Kristen Plummer. Plummer's got round the defender. Don't give away a penalty. Good. Plummer's still on it. Oh, great challenge. That was uh, that was Greenidge there. Strong. Okay, we got 81 minutes. We are going to um, put some instructions in place here. Um, okay, also, take a breather. I've been using take a breather to um, ask players to just sort of... Um, to slow it down and waste a bit of time however I'm now hearing from people that take a breather is more about keeping hold of the ball um, and you know if you know just to chill out which actually I don't really want them to chill out I want them to to sort of waste a bit of time um, so we I'll stop using take a breather so th again thanks for the advice really appreciate that 84th minute 85th minute they are having a lot more of the ball. They've had seven shots now. Here's Carl Spence. What can he do with it here? Bennett, 3v4. Low, Jamal Low on his debut. Through to Collins, also on his debut. And he's shot, but didn't go in. But, oh, this is great. This is great stuff. Right, instructions. I want to... Uh, how do you... Things, you can't increase your... Uh, your time-wasting opportunities, unfortunately. Here's Robinson with a great free kick in there. Here's Jamal Lowe. Can he get off the back of that? Oh, unfortunately, he's lost it. And Plummer is onto this one now. Come on. Get the challenge in. Don't let him score. Don't let him score this. Okay, we're going to go defensive for the final bit. Oh, my word. Wilson, all the time in the world. <gasps> he hit the post. He hit the post. Oh, yes. They. It, all right, let's be fair now. They deserve... They do deserve... Probably at least one point here, Western Supermare. Um, crikey. They've had double the amount of shots that we've had. Here's Camper. There's a Greenidge clears it. Is, come on, don't lose it. Collins just loses <laughs> it. Just get it out the pit, out, out, out of our half. Kiri. Time's running out, surely. Come on, ref. When are you going to blow the whistle? Five seconds to go. Don't let him attack this edge. Here's Plummer. Great shot. Yes! Come on! Gosport, deserved win, it said there. A deserved win. Boom. We don't need to address anything right now. No, I am going to address something right now. Good win, boys. Well done. It's a great start to the season. It's a great start to the season. Player of the match, Justin Bennett. Boom. On the score sheet. He was the top scorer for us last season. He's scored already again. And here we are in 10th place after a win. 1-0 win. Safe. Clean sheet as well. Couldn't, could not ask for more than that. Could not ask for more than that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Gosport. You have you have served me well this season. Um, and our next game is against Wealdstone. Um, who? How did they do in their first game? Uh, oh, it looks like they they also won one. Well, they won looking possibly one nil. They're, they're at the same points as us, same goal difference as us as well. So what a game we have next! Great start to the season. So happy with this. Thanks for joining me today. I better give it a um, call it a day for today and uh, join me tomorrow for some more gospel gamble where we'll be taking on this season a little bit more. But for now, do if you do enjoy this stuff, then do hit the like button. Do subscribe if you want to catch up and stay in touch with these videos. It'll be great to have you in the journey for it do leave your comments with my any advice that you've got any tips for me as many people have been doing now which is great great fun to have that conversation with you um, do follow me on twitter as well at worst f manager and we can chat more about on football on there um, but until next time i'll see you later <laughs>